How many websites does your school use? How many services are you signed up to? What about your students? Are they signed up to any services? And how many of us have really read the terms of service? Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now we all use many different services. Our students are using iXL for their maths work. We have all these other services that we use as schools and teachers and students. But often when we sign up for these services, we have to read many, many pages of terms of service. Now many of us, I would argue the majority of us, do not read these. Well, this website will help you to simplify those terms, understand them, and it'll also show you some of the implications of accepting them. So let's go on to the computer. Here we have our website open and the website is titled Terms of Service Didn't Read. Now as the title says, it's all about not having read and agreed to the terms. So here you see some examples. We have Facebook, which is getting a great E. It says Facebook stores your data, whether you have an account or not. Your identity is used in ads. The service can read your private messages. And if any of these are unclear, you can always hover over them to get more information. It tells you where in the terms of service they found that information. Here we have Amazon, Wikipedia, Reddit, and many other services and examples. Now, in addition to this, you can also search here at the top. So let's go ahead and do a search and let's search for something that many of us use in the classroom, Kahoot. So let's go ahead and type in Kahoot and let's do a search for Kahoot. Now I haven't read the terms of service for Kahoot, but here you can see Kahoot is getting a grade D. Why? Because there is a mention of waiving our moral rights. The service can delete specific content without reason. The service employs a broad copyright license over user content and it keeps a license on user generated content even after the user closes their account. Now, if you want to find out more about any of these, again, you can hover over these and it tells you exactly where in those terms of service it mentions this. So an incredibly useful website to use before actually signing up to any of these services or whenever you're doing a review of all the applications and services you as a teacher or you as a school are using, you can use this website to find out if there is anything that you need to double check or maybe you need to reach out to that service and find out what they do with your user data. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Scroll down to find that red button. If it's red, you've got to click it because that means you are not yet subscribed. You can hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos. And you can also join the channel for some additional perks, such as a private Discord group that you will be invited to. And after doing all that, why not give yourself a professional signature for your emails by clicking on this video right here.